Just my people. I'm going to listen to the discovery where George Gibbard discovered for Chicago State Court. Say the transcript where they give him. Where our Baba take enters Chicago State University. Say now female. In short, all listen to the details. I don't want to talk too much. Listen to everything where they discover where they discover and everything where the man talk and why he even have to move the case. Go on side one kind level. You go hear everything. If you want to understand more about this information, go for people gazette. Now then publish them because they get correct information about this whole thing. Go there if you see more information there, but I don't cut the most important part. You go here and now. Why do you know share? I mean very important. US courts reserves judgment in article records case after Chicago University confirmed female Bolatino boot transcript. A buffeted judge Jeffrey Gibbard of the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois on Tuesday reserved judgment on the subpoena application for Bolatino boot records after learning that the Nigerian president's co uh, college transcript which he used to gain admission into Chicago State University in 1977, indicated it belonged to a female. The judge said he was prepared to rule on the matter when he, when he scheduled a hearing for September 12th, but he needed additional time to, to digest his decision after learning that there was a transcript bearing Bola A. Tinubu released by Chicago State University under a separate court subpoena that carried the owner's gender as female. The female issue was raised by Mr. Tinobu's lawyer, Christopher Kamiko, who tried to use it to demonstrate the frivolity of the case before the court, dismissing it as a fishing expedition based entirely on conspiracy theory being peddled in Nigeria by Mr. Tinobu's political detractors. It is like Donald Trump coming up in 2010 to claim that Barack Obama was not born in the United States, Mr. Kamiko said. But Alexander D. Gamot, lawyer to plaintiff Atiku Abubakar, quickly informed the court that the possibility of Bola Tinubu, who attended Chicago State University in the, in the same 1970s, being a woman was first revealed in, in records produced by the school itself. The school had, in mid-2022, submitted Mr. Tinubu's records in its position while complying with a state court subpoena. The records, handed over to Nigerian civil rights lawyer Mike Enahoro Elba, show that Bola A. Tinubu was, ad was admitted into the Chicago State University in 1977 based on a transcript from Southwest College, Chicago, that was marked as belonging to a female. George Gilbert became more confused, sorry, became confused after Chicago State University lawyer Michael Hayes confirmed that the school had indeed turned in records to Mr. Enaro Eba in 2022, but insisted that Mr. Tinobu, the Nigerian president, was the one who attended and graduated from the school. Mr. Hayes, however, said he could not explain contradictions and the school's administrators would not be able to state under oath that the certificate Mr. Tinubu has been parading was a genuine, was genuine or otherwise. As the diploma authentic or sorry, is the diploma authentic or is it a forgery? My clients can't answer yes to either of those questions. Mr. Hayes said of Mr. Tinubu's certificate that he submitted to be Nigeria's president. Consequently, a confused judge Gilbert said he would need additional time to process the confusion especially given Mr. Hayes' confirmation of the records released last year by Chicago State University. I will have to take this matter under advisement, the judge said, adding that his court would communicate a new judgment or hearing date with, with counsel to all parties. The judge said additional documents or clarification about already submitted documents may be required from the parties. Mr. Gibbard's docket was updated at 9th on September 12th, hour, on September 12th, hours after the judgment and also confirmed that the matter is taken under advisement for the reasons stated on the records. Judge Gibbard had earlier, earlier in, the, in the hearing said, the court has always taken a liberal and broad view in, in granting similar requests under section 1782, a statute that allows the release of documents 
and evidence domiciled in the United States to be obtained and used in a foreign pr proceedings, especially with countries that have legal a re a recipro reciprocity arrangements with the U.S. like Nigeria. Mr. Abaka, the plaintiff and presidential candidate of the February polls, seek the subpoena to clarify on outstanding questions regarding Mr. Tinubu's background, particularly the age, gender, and citizenship status under which he was admitted to Chicago State University. Records he ha he said he wanted to use to pro to prove his case that Mr. Tinubu should not be the president should not be president should not be Nigeria's president because he submitted a forged certificate to the electoral office. INEC in violation of Nigeria's constitution. So I also promised I was going to upload a video of Jackson Uday live and direct at the Chicago State Court, but uh, the other day I forgot, so it was a production error. But here is the video now. It's about 1.30 p.m. Central uh, District Time. I am right standing behind uh, the U.S. District Court, Northern District of Illinois. I'm awaiting um, the 2.30 p.m. court time for the case between Atiko Bubaka of the People's Democratic Party and um, Bola Tinumbu and uh, Chicago State University. Today, the court is going to be hearing arguments for and against whether or not the Chicago State University should release the controversial academic records of Bola Tinumbu. As you can see behind me, if you watch closer, you'll see um, some lawyers already uh, converging around the court area, having conversations. Um, some of them are lawyers bill for this case and some are just lawyers bill for other cases. Uh, it's a, a beautiful day today. It's not that uh, hot. It's not that very cold. And um, I'm going to be here uh, giving you all the live report, giving you details of what is transpiring or what is going to transpire in the court. Um, the court process shouldn't take more than two or three hours. So give and take between the hours of uh, uh, 4.30 or 5 uh, p.m. Central Time, the court should be over. And uh, once that is done, I will give you a complete report of what has happened today. So keep it there with me. My name again is Jackson O'Day. I'm going to be reporting live from the U.S. District Court, Northern District of Illinois. Thank you and stay tuned with me. Bye-bye. For those where they thought say disqualification are they possible? We know say the qualification are they possible because <laughs> want some kind of funny funny judges don't come as I thought say disqualification a pre-election matter. You know say some you know say you go teach everybody we, not be everybody wear suit now you know the smoky bow. Some people wear wear suit they smoky bow pass who 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 Christmas self. Some people where you they see where they dress corporate they're not well oh. now market they, they, they now once they just enter market their Chris go show. <laughs> This same base base is where they talk say pre-election matter pre How many lawmakers in here where they don't sack now? How many lawmakers in here where they don't sack? All of them will be certificate for you, certificate for you. Oh now you come outside. They speak English. They read book. They read waiting and write given or waiting on a right. They tell us it will not get sense. When I just the target men, I don't reach that angle where they say if I reach them, I just dismiss the case. When I don't dismiss the case, now I mean I can't begin to explain on myself. You know, agree. Cover face, they, they give judgments.